Hey everybody. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a tarot reading on world news. Um, I got some really good questions about world news and his connection with Alihio. I don't watch world news. I know who he is. I'm aware of him, but I really can't stomach him. <laughs> Sorry. I know that's harsh, but it's the truth. I really can't. Like, it's so much ickiness leaking out of his spirit when he's talking and doing whatever he's doing that I feel like if I listen to him too long my spirit gonna start to feel heavy and tainted in a way it's like the similar feeling that I get with listening to Alihio for so long but the difference is that world news is um doing it's like he doing the opposite of what he's supposed to be doing what he's saying he doing so i really feel like his deception is like even on a deeper level alihio deception even though he tried to deceive us he he's so crazy that he can't help but act crazy and we see the real him you know he just don't notice that we can not see him he think that we can't really see him for what he is but we can <laughs> you know what i guess world news is exactly the same so yeah they is one and the same i even think that they are soulmates honestly I did like last night I was gonna do this but I'm on my cycle and I was so sleepy <laughs> I was so sleepy that like man this cycle man it really do slow you down sometimes that I just I I had to wait until today to do it but I was pulling some cards and I mean when the cards was like so romantic and I don't even have like a lot of romantic cards in this deck but um I feel like the infatuation that world has for Alihio is so deep it's such a deep infatuation that it looks like love it looks like it but it's not it don't carry the same vibration but on the outside it could look the same but first let's get into world news and who he is as a person like matter of fact let me just think of some questions to navigate that real quick hold on all right i wrote down four questions that i think is good these are just things that i'm interested in and then i will get into what everybody else is interested in um just to start out the purpose of this is not to bash him but hopefully to generate healing because i was getting visuals even writing the questions that he is so lost and hurt broken that um but everybody has a purpose everybody can connect to their divinity if they do the healing and do the work and that's what he needs to do like he I'm, everybody has a talent everybody he just got to use it correctly and when you use your talents for good you feel more at peace in your life so it's not just for the good of everybody it's for the good of you too you know don't just be good for other people be good because it's good for you it really is it really is go out there and treating people with the highest good with respect and good intentions go out there and do that 
and watch how much happier you, you is. Like telling the truth, being your real self, and treating people well. It's going to make you happy. All right. So I'm going to, the first question is, what type of person is he? And I'm going to use my uh, architect cards. Architect cards by Caroline Miss. These really give you a good understanding of who somebody is. So let me pull those and come back. <laughs> yeah, my baby cards be cracking me up. That's why I love doing tarot readings, cause boy, just sitting here with cards and spirit just be cracking me up. The first card I pull is fool. I ain't read the definition yet, but I was thinking, yeah, he is a fool. All right, but it came in the light attributes. So, fiercely, fiercely reveal. Okay, let's start over because it seems like I can't read today. Let me drink some water first. Oops. Okay, fearlessly revealing emotion. Helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. Mm. I do see that swimming in his spirit, definitely. And then the rest, that was the only light attribute. The rest of the cards came reverse because he has so much healing to do. But he kind of a comedian. That's like the energy. He got that com comedic energy. So, um, Midas and Miser. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Mm. Mm hmm. All right, then I got the Virgin reverse fear of intimate ewing i feel like world dealt with um sexual abuse before and then you got the mediator reverse shadow attribute negotiating with an alternative oh uh, uh basically an alternative motive but negotiating with a arterial not good at pronouncing that word, motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. Which we see. <laughs> but basically what this is telling me is that he's acting in a deceptive way. He is doing things underhanded because he is trying to gain wealth and stability for himself but he's doing it in such a shadow way. When in actuality, he's supposed to be light in spirit, making people laugh, a comedic. Like I could see him covering the Eligio situation and maybe telling jokes or something like that. But I feel like he got so lost in his desires. He got so weighed down by life that all he can do is act out of these uh, shadow attributes meaning that he's only acting out of survival like he's in a survival mode um uh, what they call it fear and flight mode or whatever he's in both fear and flight mode so <laughs> um and he have alternative motives meaning that just about everything that he do he don't do it with purity he do it with the intent to gain wealth and stability for himself when if he acts out of his light attribute i feel like he will be able to gain that and to keep it okay i'm gonna put some of my cards from my on the mind deck which is coming soon i'm just waiting for them to approve it for the shop 
and then once it does that I will um, post a link to it all right so what is his what type of person is he spirit <laughs> impatient I got this I want it now he's impatient I know what that energy feels like but he not it's different like um it's like he looking for something to get rich quick he's looking he almost feel like entitled to certain things then i also got the moon reverse card now that i know the truth i can make better decisions um that came under this full card i think i should take pictures this time I'm going to take it to this question and pull out everything. Um, they came out under this full card, um, which is containing his uh, comedic energy. He knows how to read people because of um, experiences that he had. And he real good, Spirit said he real good at finding his own reflection. So he's good at not just seeing it and being aware of it, but he's good at seeking it and finding stuff that's like containing parts of his shadow like Alihio. Like Alihio is like a reflection of him. But I think that he desired to be like a Leo. So it's it's like the feeling of jealousy, honestly. That's what it is. Alright, more on what type of person he is. It's starting to weigh him down though. Because these three cards fell out together and they go together. So it start out with the Eight of Swords reverse. I don't want to be a victim anymore. I'm ready to set myself and my mind free. Then they get into the King of Swords reverse. How dare they challenge me? I refuse to lose. And then they get into the Ten of Pentacles reverse. I just can't handle commitment right now. So with all of this together is telling me is that deep down inside he is suffering he's unhappy with how his life is right now it just seemed like things just can't get right especially in his home life with his ten of pentacles reverse uh he may be going through like some type of domestic issues or something like that um but he is so triggered by everything because of his own insecurities so i'm getting a feeling like when he reports on alihio he become triggered and it, it's like he can't help but show it because i do think he's a emotional person and he's supposed to use that emotion like in this card right here uh fearlessly revealing emotions but after that it talked about him being afraid to do that but he's supposed to you get what I'm saying so he's a very emotional person so when he triggered it don't helps but show it don't help but show and he's in fear right now I feel like like with this how dare they challenge me I refuse to lose he's operating in that energy of always thinking that somebody is challenging him he feel like life is a whole challenge and he survival mode <laughs> survival mode but it's making him act um erratically because um it's almost like the devil playing games with him like 
the way that you think and perceive the world is going to keep you in misery. But because you always trying to be a victim, then I'm going to keep making your life hard. The devil is like within us. So I'm going to keep making your life hard because of the way that you think and perceive things. But he on went through so many lessons in life, so many hardships and trauma that he should know better. He should know better. But he triggered. So <laughs> he got to get out of that. So to summarize that, basically, he's a very insecure person that get triggered easily. He feels entitled to success. He feels entitled to recognition. Um, and I think because he put, I remember seeing a video posted of him one time and he was just talking about Alihio and the video was like six hours long and I clicked on it and I watched like maybe the first five minutes and I like damn he went six hours doing this and I clicked through the video and yes he did I like damn that's how <laughs> how could you like that's to me is somebody living in hell and being so used to hell that they don't even realize that they living in it so all right let's get into other questions so the next question is why did world news start to cover Alicia? The first card that I got is the world reverse, which say I'm competing with an older version of myself. I'm stagnant. That's very telling. Get some more cards. Why did he start to cover over here? <laughs> See, here go that love again. This card came out last night. I could find a million reasons why I shouldn't fall in love. But I don't know if I can resist. Dang, world, you got a crush? Like, this feeling like a big time crush, too. I feel good about this change. I know it was for the highest good. I'm going to get some clarity on that because when I'm feeling, like when I pull that card, I felt communication. You communicating with Alihio. Alright. Why did he start to cover? Alihio. The Hermit. I'm at peace with myself in the stillness. I can hear my inner wisdom. Alright. I'm going to get some more clarity, especially on these last two cards, and then come back. To be honest, like, I'm slowly starting to get mad. Because you're more than deceptive. You out here acting like you against this person, but you actually a groupie that's in love. And I really be thinking that this is very intentional. Like, y'all got some shit going on in the background that y'all purposely misleading people, you and him. Because right here, it's feeling like y'all a fucking team. Man, I, fuck, I hate shit like that. I hate that. I can't stand shit like that. You be over there talking to him? Like y'all friends or something? Because you a groupie? Because you, he looked up to Alihio as like, that's what he wants to be or whatever. But he has a, a very deep infatuation with him. It feels romantic. It feels romantic, but 
on at the when you dig deeper into that energy it feels like you're very confused world is very confused about how he feel how he perceive because he's so hurt he's so hurt and so broken see spirit just said something i was gonna say it but i'm a I, I ain't gonna say it right now, but I'm gonna write it down. Nah, I'm finna say it. Um, so spirit, like I don't know, like you, I believe I seen something that you went to jail before, and I feel like when you was in jail that there was certain people that protected you, but you would have to give something in a change, and you did but it was trauma and it wasn't right it wasn't right i don't feel like nobody deserved that but you shut down in a way i keep talking like i'm talking to you i feel like you're going to see this video but you shut down in a way that instead of like Stockholm syndrome or something. So you started to become infatuated with your abuser because they was giving you some type of protect protection. They was giving you um, something in return for you giving what you gave. And I feel like that happened to you a few times and I'm sorry, like it hurts to see it because it's painful, you know, and it traumatized you, but it created a monster, you know, it created a demon within you that now you keep seeking this energy out, even though you're not in jail no more, you are institutionalized. So you feel like a Leo is giving you something in change in exchange of you being his groupie and metaphorically sucking his dick. Get the, get the fuck up out of my face. Just say what you really about. I can't stand this. You need to go get some fucking healing. Because honestly, I don't really feel like you are um, gay, but you got the energy of somebody that's gay for pay. And I don't really respect that because you not being yourself, you worshiping money. You worshiping something else that makes you into like a, I mean, it's like you, um getting lost in your shadows and your darkness. You getting lost in your traumas, but you a fraud. You a fraudulent ass motherfucker. All right, let me get some more for this. And you feel like it's going good because you do feel like this is benefiting you, but he really is causing confusion. And I, you be working with Alihio. You can't tell me shit. Get some clarity for this. Because you so up his ass that you don't care about the people that's actually following you because they think that you against him. So you care more about him than you do the people that are following you because they think that you against him. Alright, so under this Wheel of Fortune card, which I feel like this is a conversation, which I have several, but <sighs> anyways, uh, the card I put under this is because you feeling good about this little scheme you got going on because you gain, you feel like you gaining something from it like followers and stuff like that you know 
it's like it, I can even see you saying shit like, um, yeah, I, I will make people think that you here, but you actually there or, you know, OK, I reveal this, but only because of this or um, I'll talk about this to take attention off of that stuff like that. I act like I'm against you or whatever. And I think that Lee Hill maybe have even gave you money before to mislead people. Get the... All right. Um, so what I put on the back card that contains all that energy that I'm just talking about is I'm struggling to set boundaries. I'm absorbing too much negative energy and that is from the trauma, the reason why you doing scandalous shit like this. You just, you've been through a lot. You absorb too much of that negative energy and you became it. Work harder, not smarter. How can I be more efficient? Like I reshuffled, it was another work card that came out of this. Because you feel like you work very hard, but you're not doing anything constructive. You're not really being productive. You ain't creating real healing or change or nothing. You lying and co creating confusion. Then the last card I got in this role is I'm afraid to stand up for what I believe in. I feel like a coward. You are. But that could change. That could fucking change. I mean, you could just start doing the right thing now. And I know you don't got it in you to come out and tell the truth, but you could start doing the right thing. You don't owe him shit because he gave you money or anything. And you turn it against him will definitely make him put your ass on blast. But that's all right. At least you have some form of inner peace, you know. So I got the hermit card after that. And that's telling me that this stuff really he weighs heavy on you sometimes and you get the urge to run like you get the urge to just be like fuck all of it like because you don't have enough enough courage to reveal yourself and tell the truth um you are a coward like for real yeah and you handle things in a cowardly way. Like I'm trying to remain some respect here, but I'm losing it very quickly. It's with love though. <laughs> I thought I was being protective, but maybe I was too possessive. Okay, I guess I'm more in this role. I'm about to wrap this question up. Oh my goodness. So you feel like you and you can, I feel like him and Ali Hill feel like there's a friendship and they understand each other because they one of the same. But that's not what you're putting out there. If you pro Ali Hill, then you need to say that. Stop misleading people. Or it's just going to cause a lot of conflict, not in the com just in the community but within yourself look at this under the hermit card i need some time away from them but they won't let me go it's time to let go you feel like running every time people start to really expose you because i feel like i'm not the only person that said this my bad y'all I'm getting some visuals I'm not the only person that said this and every time somebody say this you feel like throwing in a towel or whatever 
man I'm about to go on to the next question y'all I'm about to go on to the next question so I was just at, I'm not going to take pictures of this this question but I was just asking like why did he decided to start working with Alihio I'm saying that world think very highly of himself he really do he feel like he very intelligent um I feel like he first went to Alihio as in like look I could contribute to your cause and then there was a rejection and then that turned into him being against but Alihio realized he's seen in him that how world really feels um what people have to understand about Alihio is that he is very intuitive and he's good at reading people um I mentioned this before people that's born on the 29th they have like very analytical minds and they usually have very hard lives because they have a lot of lessons to learn um and so Elihio he is spiritually gifted and knowing people seeing them for what they really are and that's how he feed off of them that's how he knows how to um get in tap into them like that and I know this to be truth because I'm born on the 29th and I have other friends that's born on the 29th and they have that same ability. So Elihio seen this in him and manipulated the situation. But I feel like world thinking that they are like low key friends or whatever are whatever. I think that even if like Elihio was admit that he gave him money are that if um world be like it gonna be on some basis of um world saying yeah you offer me money and i took it because why not why not take your money and all this other stuff but he didn't just take the money he did something in return it was an energy exchange and he did something in return to benefit Alihio now do I feel like he do this all the time no I do feel like there are times that he really is revealing something but he doing it with other motives alternative motives that he don't tell nobody about and that's misleading that's mislead that's misleading but he think very highly of himself he think that he is just so damn smart and he playing both sides of the fence and he he think he's so intelligent because he playing both sides of the fence but i guarantee you as long as he doing that it gonna always circle back around and bite him in the ass every time it happens to all people who do that every time It's going to bite him in the ass. Okay, so now I'm going into the questions that um, people ask me. Okay, so... What made world news attach himself to Alihio? Um, just mentioned that. And are they secretly working together? Okay, mentioned that. What kind of person is he when he when the cameras go off? Okay. Um, does he want people to worship him like Alihio do? And is he jealous? He is jealous of Alihio, but it's a uh, also an effectuation and it's attached to trauma um yeah and um who did he abuse because his background charges are exposed what is 
in the future why is he so rude and emotional okay um so what i need to answer who he is when the camera turns off that's a good one all right so i got the ten of pentacles reverse again that showed up before i just can't handle commitment right now to be honest i feel like he the type of person that may even use women like um to gain something like be with a girl just so he could sleep on her couch for a little while until he found the net the next couch he is a narcissist uh world is definitely a narcissist like to be honest it's like they one and the same him and alihio but like they part of the same like soul collective or something because their trauma and experience is what even activate that extreme narcissistic that narcissistic personality in them um it's not an excuse because a lot of people go through extremes and don't become narcissists it's, it is a bit of a choice but I feel like the way that some people are energetically um, naturally energetically they could easily lean on that side more if that making sense okay so who is he when the camera's off? I ask who he who is he when the camera's off to the immediate people around him. He's like non-committal, like Yeah, I know how narcissists they only after what they can gain. <laughs> so I guarantee you, if you look into his life and his reality. The people around him going to be looking just as drained, defeated, and broken as the people around Alihio. Guarantee you. Okay, so then I got the King of Wands. I find power in my ability to lead with integrity. I love life and I take charge of mine. That's how he see himself. That's what he really be thinking of himself, to be honest. He think very highly of himself and he got a twisted view of what integrity what integrity is okay then i got the lovers reverse so he definitely having domestic problems um I wonder will we ever have our happy ending do you feel the same about me is it time to move on actually I think whoever his partner is feels this way they question him all the time on this like do you really love me like why do you treat me like this why do you he's broken he's confused not only that but he repressed it so much and he put himself on a pedestal whoever is around him please get away from him because all he gonna do is drain the hell out of you just drain you even the followers y'all like people who watch and listen to him on a regular protect your spirit protect your energy for real is that serious is that serious that's why we have to pay attention to the things that we ingest you know like I have a sensitivity I'm very sensitive like my energy is sensitive so when something is going into my ears or in my conscious or whatever and it hurts I know that it's not good for me and spirit usually reveals why pretty immediately only because I start to ask so question like why do it feel like that like what is going on <laughs> so who he is who is he off the camera
Okay, so he do like a lot of busy work. Um, what's all right? But it's the reason why he's so busy. His world can look chaotic, is because he's so deceptive. Um, narcissists always deal with this because they leave a trail of tears. You know, they are usually always in conflict with somebody. They always did somebody dirty. Somebody's after to get them or expose them or something like that. So it makes them have to work harder to keep people mouth shut. It has to, like they have to put a lot of energy and stuff that is a waste of time. But it's like, they don't even see it like that. They see it as uh, me just trying to keep my life afloat. But you wouldn't have to do all that if you don't mistreat people. So it's like he busy creating lies, stories, and facades for everybody in his life. I don't even know if it's, if it's anybody that really know him. Like seeing what I'm seeing in him right now in his spirit. I feel like people could feel it but he lies so much he manipulates so much you can't trust nothing that come out of his mouth for real all right so let me look at the other questions okay so you also ask who is he abusing he is abusing everybody even his follower followers because they don't know that he being deceptive they don't know that they are being misled. He's such a fraudulent ass person. I definitely don't have no respect. For real, I don't. He's fraudulent down to the core, okay? Um, he hurts everybody because he's a narcissist, so. All right, y'all, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Um, also, if you go onto my IG, I do have like one of those tabs up the top called questions. And within those tabs, um, you can ask questions about carbonation or give suggestions and stuff like that. So... Um, check that out because I do appreciate the questions. I really do. Because sometimes I feel like the way that I um, think about things, sometimes I don't always know what people want to know. So it helps me, <laughs> basically. It helps me and I appreciate it. So stay blessed, y'all.